Hey everyone, welcome to what probably is going to be the strangest Go Figure Friday episode, at least to date. Um, I, I know I'm a little late with the bird box phenomenon, but what I've decided to do, and you might be able to tell behind me, my LJN shelf is bare right now. What I've done is I've taken all of my LJNs, I think I have 44, 45, I, I don't really remember, and I've thrown them into a tub, and I would show you, but I can't see right now. Uh, but I promise you, they are all in a tub. I cannot see. Um, and what I'm going to do is just pull one out at a time, and I'm not going to obviously do all of them, just a handful. And I'm going to try to figure out who the figure is just by touch, which should not be hard because I've had these for 33, 34, almost 34 years now. But I thought as I identify with just touch, I would also share a story about the figure as to how I acquired it or maybe something about the superstar in question. If this is dumb, please continue to watch and then criticize me afterward. But uh, let me know honestly uh, your opinion, your thoughts on this. Um, so I'm, I'm not going to do this for long just because I know people don't want to. And I'm reaching deep in here. And the first one. Oh, <laughs> Gotta love this guy, the late, great Mean Gene Okerlund. I remember getting Mean Gene uh, back when I was younger, uh, when many of you who were probably collecting back then, there was a store called KB Toy and Hobby. It was in all the malls. I remember going to KB and finding Mean Gene, along with, I think I got Bobby the Brain Heenan the same night uh, that I got Mean Gene. So rest in peace, Mean Gene. Okay. Let's see. Number two will be... Um, this feels like Andre the Giant. I think this is Andre. The, the funny thing is that I don't know if I'm right or wrong, but this feels like the Andre the Giant action figure. I remember Andre was in that first series. There were five in the first series. Hulk Hogan, Jimmy Snuka, who were the first two my brother and I got. I told that story in the pilot episode of this, uh, of this segment. Um... Number three we got, or that I got, was, I believe, the Iron Sheik, followed by Andre the Giant Big John Stud. There was a Kmart when I lived in High Ridge, where I grew up. There was a Kmart right down, uh, maybe in a mile or two down the highway from our house. And I remember one summer going, or that summer of 85, going before school started back up um, and finding Andre. And uh, I think maybe 7 or $8 is what the figures cost back then. So... Uh, I'm going to only do three because I feel like this is going long and I don't know if it's entertaining or not. So let's see here. Uh, I, I'm thinking this is Cowboy Bob Orton. Obviously, without the hat, I can feel the vest. And I remember his pose was like this. I always wish they would have put a cast on, on Cowboy Bob. I don't remember the specifics behind acquiring Cowboy Bob Orton. I just remember getting him. And I think Don Morocco around the same time. Um, I remember as a kid, I did take a piece of uh, masking tape and put it on his uh, wrist here. Um, so hopefully, let's see. Am I right? Yes. Cowboy Bob, Andre, and of course Mean Gene, which was very easy to identify. So I hope you enjoyed this. If not, give me ideas, suggestions. I'm going to have guests on here too soon. And Implement some new things. Uh, some friends of mine made some suggestions, specifically Cash Borden from Stride Pro Wrestling gave me some ideas too. So new things coming very soon. I promise now i got to put all these figures back on the shelf. Everyone have a great week, and don't forget to subscribe to my 123 Cents.